So, you're a world famous bird photographer. You book a day off work, you get up nice and early, and it's chucking it down with rain. So what do you do? Well, I wouldn't know, but I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go birding. Come on. So I'm sat in a woodland about five to six miles away from my home in Wiltshire. So why am I doing this, I hear you ask? Well, there's a whisper out that there's quite a rarity that's arrived in the wood of late. Uh, it's one of our largest finches, if not our largest finch. Um, and it's, a, it's quite rare and it's, it's also a very shy bird, spending much of its time up in the canopy of uh, mixed woodland. So this is a mixed woodland that's got deciduous and conifer trees, whole range of trees. And this bird loves not only stones, fruit stones, but also it loves seeds of a range of uh, trees like beech, ash uh, and, and others, hornbeam, hawthorn and so on. Uh, so this is an ideal location. I say one has been spotted. Uh, what I've done is a bit earlier, I, I, uh, there's a stump in the middle of this clearing, a tree stump and I put out some sunflower seeds. Well, I've come here looking for the hawfinch, one of our beautiful finches. Um, it's almost like a miniature parrot in its, its look. Massive, massive bill and very strong bill, uh, uh, muscles around it, and it can crunch into uh, you know, plum stones, for example. Um, so very strong, strong billed bird. Uh, so it's a beautiful bird. I think if we sit here patiently, I've got no camo, I've just sat here, Sit here patiently. Uh, we're about 40 meters away from the stump, and I'm just going to look to see if it, it turns up. Uh, if it does, and uh, it's it's not too shy, I might move a little bit closer. But the name of the game today is patience. What have I got with me? I've got my Sony A1, uh, so my Sony A1 here, and I've got the uh, FE 200 to 600 on this today. Uh, this is a fantastic and versatile lens for me. Uh, two, 200 at its shortest end, 600 at its uh, longest end. Uh, tremendously versatile. It's a bit dark, you know, uh, wide open at 600. This is going to be 6.3, f6.3. Um, but I think the A1 can cope with it really well. So, patience here. Um, I'm set to uh, manual mode and auto ISO so I get to control the shutter speed I get to control the aperture and that in turn controls the ISO so I use that combination to hopefully take the best pictures I can take continuous uh, autofocus is what I usually use and I've got it on zone again fundamentally I use zone for all my shots uh, with bird eye detect turned on so we'll see what we get and I say we're just going to be patient and uh, we'll keep reporting in So we've got a good selection of birds coming in at the moment. Um, I've moved my seat, um, A with a little bit more background, um, 
so a little bit of camo I guess uh, but slightly nearer and I uh, just saw a marsh tit come in so I'm going to try and take a picture of a marsh tit uh, but they'll, they'll take a bit of time just to get their courage up but if we're still and quiet um, then they're going to come in but let's just wait and see So it's good to see the marsh tit coming in on a regular basis. Uh, not to be confused with the willow tit, which is somewhat rarer. I think willow tits seem to be doing reasonably well compared with marsh tits at the moment. Uh, marsh tits tend to have a smaller, black, a dark bib, black bib. Uh, they have a probably a, a, a slightly off-white buff uh, patch on their cheek, um, but very, very difficult to tell apart. Um, in fact, the main, the main way to tell them apart would be by their song. Um, but this time of year they're not, they're not very vocal. But I'm pretty sure these are marsh tit. So I'm afraid it's just started to rain again. Uh, not too heavy, but I managed, thankfully, I brought my camouflage brolly. <laughs> we'll just sit this uh, shower out and give it another half hour after the rain's gone just to see what else we get in so we have marsh tit we've had uh, great tit and blue tit so typical woodland birds uh, but no hawfinches yet but patience it might take a few trips some continuous feeding and i'm sure if they're here um, they'll start coming in Sparrowhawk just flew over. In fact, the sparrowhawk's just flown in and perched up in the tree. A little bit high up, let's see if I can get a couple of shots. He's off, yeah, beautiful specimen. Didn't stick around for long, beautiful bird. Let's hope uh, he doesn't spot the hawfinch. And it was a he, it was a male sparrowhawk. Still a blowy, miserable old day. Typical English day, typical British day. Uh, middle of winter. We have really, really dull days in the uh, UK. Uh, bird photography is quite a challenge. Um, I think in December we had 24 hours of sun, all, all month I believe. Or maybe that was November. But a uh, muggy old day and I don't think we've got any sun promised for probably another week. So we just got to put, put up with it and make the best of it. And that's what I'm doing sitting here today. Well, it's time to go. The clouds are coming in. It's going to pour down in the next 10 minutes. So we'll skip back to the car and uh, get home for a nice warm drink. Um, so Sparrowhawk, Marsh Tit and a range of other tits, but no uh, Hawfinch. So we'll save that for another day. I'm going to keep coming here. I'm going to keep putting uh, seeds down over the next week or two and just see what we can get and then at some point I'll probably come here with a bag hide uh, sit, sit in a chair with a bag hide uh, just to give, obviously give the birds a little bit more confidence but I uh, know plenty of birds have been coming in and really good to see the marsh tit so the heavens are going to open so we're off So here we are again at uh, the potential hawfinch site. Um, so it's a week later now. Uh, I've been feeding this area uh, on the tree stump for the last week or so. A bit intermittently, not every day, but I have been trying to keep it stocked up. Um, so the weather's improved slightly. We've had a bit of sun today, first time in a week. We've had quite a few storms come in recently, uh, but they've moved away and hopefully we're going to get some decent weather. So I've come back to uh, try and find the hawfinch. Uh, a few changes today, you'll notice uh, my Stetson, which I bought in Florida. Uh, I think it was Gatorland in Florida, and a fantastic place if you want to take osprey shots, ospreys diving, catching fish, fantastic place. But then I guess uh, pretty much all of Florida is pretty good for ospreys. Ospreys over there are like our buzzards in the UK, very, very numerous. 
um, but a beautiful bird and one worth certainly worth the trip. Uh, the other changes I've made, um, you'll notice that I've brought uh, my bag hide, which is covering the camera. I've got a tripod today because I want to try and take some decent images. I want to take some better video footage as well. So I'm going to need a tripod for good video video footage. So I brought my tripod. I've got my bag hide. That's going to go over the head. And the reason I'm wearing this Stetson. Uh, is really because when you get the bag hide over your head it gives you a lot of space around your head to fiddle around and look through the camera so well worth wearing one of these when you've got a bag hide uh, some people wear a peak cap but I think this is uh, this is even better that's why I bought it uh, so we're gonna settle down uh, hopefully uh, I've not seen a hawfinch uh, in the last week but hopefully they're still around and hopefully they'll come in today so we're all set up I say I've put a perch on the uh, stump a quite attractive perch because clearly I don't want to be taking pictures of birds eating seed. So it's slightly elevated. Hopefully they'll come in, perch on the perch, and then go down to the seed. And when they're perched on the perch, I'll be able to get some decent shots. Um, I've got the Sony A1 again. I've got the FE200, the 600, you know, my normally, normal settings. Uh, the birds are already coming in, even though I'm talking, and I'm no more than about uh, 10 metres away today. So uh, let's crack on. Okay, so I'm uh, set up in the bag hide. Uh, I've got F 6.3. Um, I'm on auto ISO, uh, one four hundredth of a second. Uh, I'm at 600 millimeters, so the, the shutter speed is slightly slow, but it's still not a very bright day, and I'm getting ISO of about 2,000. So, and the A1 can handle 2,000; it's not a problem. But uh, okay, the birds are starting to land. Let's take a few shots.
okay there it is a wonderful little session uh, in this clearing that i found here not not too far from my home uh quite a few woodland birds present today so we had uh, the cold tit great tit and blue tit uh, we had the marsh tit that came in quite a few times we also saw buzzard flying fairly high and also a red kite and the buzzard's been been there's a few buzzards here i think i've seen four so far today and they're flying through quite often so obviously they've got a little uh, territory here and no doubt there'll be some breeding going on fairly shortly um, so look this this is something everybody could do this is uh this is a public right of way a little track here i uh, found this stump i heard that there was some hawfinch here but they haven't shown up so i don't think they're here anymore uh, i just threw some seed down put a perch up uh, you know the first session I just basically sat here and took some pictures and the second session i've used the bag hide uh, with the old stetson um, just to give them a bit more confidence and, and they were more confident they were coming in more regular so great session why don't you try it yourself um, thanks for watching um, thanks for liking and subscribing if that's what you're going to do and uh, i'll see you in the next video bye for now starting to rain again i think i'll just put me brolly up just let wait for that one to pass It works. It's a cracking brolly this. Does it even work? <laughs> That's a hell is this all about? There you go. Have a rest laws. Schoolboy era. <laughs> Turn that off again.